Alright, I do apologize. I did upload a video on the same issue of uh, how to hook up uh, the RJ45 Cat 5E jacks. And I went through the explanation of the two different configurations they show on this, uh, this little diagram here, as you can see. But what I did not show you, I showed you how to separate your wires and everything, but I did not show you the actual crimping of the connector to it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this stripped out and get it uh, marked up. We're just going to do a, you know, a sample of uh, how this actually gets crimped and how you actually put it into the connector and what to look for. Uh, in order to strip this out, um, it has a piece of nylon type uh, rope in here that you actually, once you get to it, you can pull it down. Um, you can either use a pocket knife or do like I'm going to do right now because I don't feel like digging out my pocket knife. It's getting late at night and I've done looking for enough crap tonight, but uh, I'm just going to use my diagonal cutting pliers here just to strip back a little bit until I can get to that nylon. Then you don't have to be too careful about, um, you know, cutting, uh, nicking these wires here because the majority of it's going to get cut off. And as you can see, this is kind of a pain in the butt. So I do recommend you use a knife. But when you do do this, when you do strip it out, don't go the full two inches like I had showed you in my previous video with the knife. That's what this little tiny the uh, uh, nylon cord is, if I can find it. Sometimes you can just pull on the wires too. Okay, see, that's what it is right there. You can see a little nylon that's in there. And you can see, you just simply pull it back, you know, two, three inches, whatever you feel comfortable with. It'll give you a good, good little bit of room to work to spread your wires out. Okay, now, if you want to see how I did this and how to pair them up, I'll show you, you can watch uh, my previous video on this, it's how to uh, install uh, Ethernet connections, if you go to my uh, page, RyanB788, you'll see that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these all ready to go and I'm going to show you how to do the crimping part. Alright, now that I've got my wires in the right configuration, I'm going to pinch them and make sure they're nice and close. And like I said in my prior video, you want to use a good set of cutters and make a nice straight cut. Just like that. And that's actually a little long, so we'll trim a little bit more off. Don't cut too much off, otherwise you're going to have troubles getting it in the connector. Alright. Now, I always double check to make sure that everything's pretty well in line and it looks like I got a little bit of a unevenness here so I'm going to go ahead and straighten out just a little bit more okay now that you've gotten that done what you're going to do is okay it doesn't matter whether this is actually it does if you look at uh, this diagram here you can see the pin points down. That would be the part that the little click point, the little catch. So we want that. We want our light green, which is a configuration. And we want it facing down just like this. And carefully slide it in there. Okay. And it may take a little finesse and you may have to mess around with your wires a little bit to get them straight and get them in there properly which I'm having to do right now because I didn't quite get it this orange is kind of stuck behind everything and it, it, this this is a tedious kind of little thing but you know once you